So guys, when we move through this exercise that we're going to do together now, um, what I want you to do is I want you to use your powers of visualization, but I'd like you to like visualize and imagine the energy mo moving its way through those different chakras, those energy centers from your tailbone all the way up your spine, all the way up through to the crown of your head and listen in conjunction to the frequency and the vibration, the words behind the songs that are going to be playing, accompanying us through this and feel that energy move and like even move your physical vessel if you need to, move your shoulders, move your hands to bring that energy up and move it along through those different energy centers. And if it does get stuck, you know, if it gets stuck on something in and around, you know, let's, let's call it the solar plexus and something's coming up there and, you know, there's some sort of project and you've hit a wall at the moment or there's some sort of news and you're waiting on it and it's taking forever or there's like something that's not in flow. See if you can feel into that and let it go. Because remember very often when we feel like things need to be a certain way, that is our false belief that we are in control of everything. Remember, there's another one, which is an illusion. We're not in control. Nothing's in control. We need to surrender to what's going on around us because what's going on around us is actually happening for us, not to us. And once we really see that, it's one thing to intellectually know it, but when you can really see it and then feel into it and let that go, then you realize more of your higher self drops in, your higher mind, and you open yourself up to all sorts of wonderful outcomes and manifestations, which we might sometimes actually block by trying too, too hard. <laughs> it's like we almost try too hard that we can get in our own way. So just that's one example. Could happen in your throat, could be happening down in and around your root chakra, wherever it may be for you, you'll know when it's there, you'll feel it. It'll, it'll hang there and you, you won't feel comfort with it uh, as we move through the songs so the kundalini energy is like the serpent a snake so if you see a snake or a serpent this is the the kundalini energy gets put in the base chakra and when we have an activation or an awakening this energy this serpent energy starts to move and it's the life force energy that can really help us propel and ascend so once the passageway is clean up the back of the spine up through all the energy centers the serpent will rise Talk to we have two little boys out there being very loud <laughs> So what we're looking for is we're looking for this clear um, like energy, like a column of light coming all the way up and allowing that energy to come up through the crown and touch source, touch the hand of God, right? That's the goal. So through this process with the music, it's going to help activate more and more of that life force energy that's within you. Everything we need is within ourselves. So be aware, listen, like tune into your mind's eye, your heart, your feelings, all of your senses and feel the energy coming up. Some people might have a big activation. You might just lie there in peace and it just be beautiful for what you need right now. So don't judge what you're not maybe getting. Okay, what you're getting today is perfect for what you need today in this now moment. If you do this another time with us, maybe there's fireworks and movement in the body and the, and the serpent is coming up and out of us and that is okay. But if it's just peaceful today, that's welcomed as well because it's new. It's a new technique that we're, we're bringing to the Galactic Ambassadors. I know some of you might have heard of it before, but you've got to let your serpent energy, it rise and do do the work for you, right? So we're not controlling this. We're not remote viewing off planet and making anything. We're remote viewing back into our body and observing the snake energy coming up, the kundalini energy coming up, right? So this will be about a 15 to 20 minute exercise. We invite you now to turn down your cameras and get comfortable. You want a blankie, 
maybe laying down is probably the best part uh, for this exercise today, laying down. And we'll get started in a moment. So before we get started today, we'd like to call upon all the souls, the higher selves, the planet, Mother Gaia, Source. We call upon the Archangels, the Galactic Team. We call upon our fire energy, the Kundalini, to rise through our beings for the highest and the greatest good. And we ask that our guides and our perhaps guides and loved ones that have passed are here to guide this activation for the highest good of ourselves and for everyone here. We also call through the energy of the planet to soften and to sweeten the Middle East in this time of war and help them to all return to love and higher frequency. We ask them and invite them to realize that they are all source and from the one creator and that the, the, the division does not serve this planet as we move into the time of the age of Aquarius. And we ask and we send all of our love to this area of the world at this great time to help them, to help them open their consciousness and open their eyes to soften to love. And we ask that this is done for the highest and the greatest good of all on the planet. Aho. So tuning now into your body, into your being, we'll get started with the activation. Beautiful deep breaths, moving the energy with Feeling it building up within you, moving, exploring this powerful energy.
feeling the serpent coming to life, moving up your spine, feeling in this energy, this power. Sitting peacefully now with this energy awake within you. I release control and surrender to the flow of love that will heal me. I release control. And surrender to the flow of love that will heal me. I release control and surrender to the flow of love that will heal me. I release control and surrender to the flow of love that will heal me. I release control and surrender to the flow. I read. 
into now your surrender, your open heart. Pushing you clean, breaking you through. The energy moves through now, moving through your whole being, lighting you up. Just feeling yourself now, moving back into your physical vessel, becoming fully aware of your physical body once again, moving your toes, stretching out your hands and your arms and gently opening your eyes. And then in time, bring yourself back to 
your screen and the camera. I was just tuning into the group and I think a lot of you needed that today. That, I felt that the same. It was like I just needed some space to process. You know, I think a few of you shed a little eye tear. You got to feel how you've been feeling. Yeah, built up energy. I also was getting like a big strong message, like take the armor off everybody. You know, this this silver armor that we carry around with us, so harsh and hard, softened to the sweetness of love, which is the highest frequency. If we just surrender. And of course, if you fell asleep, you probably needed it, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like give yourself a little opportunity to just you know, drift on those beautiful songs, right? that frequency of just receiving. loving, allowing, receiving, you know, it, it's okay. You know, where you could sometimes just let yourself surrender for a bit. Go, oh, my goodness, it's just okay. You know, if you've ever had that feeling like you just want to cry up, curl up in a ball sometimes because it's all too bloody hard, you know, <laughs> everything sucks and I just want to uh, surrender for a minute and let all that go. Um, look, however it came through for you, I'm sure there were some people out there clearing stuff away, oh, moving big energies. Megan's computer died at I release control. There you go. <laughs> it's like <laughs> interesting. Does anyone see the 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 Kundalini fire, the snake? Yeah. Do you see any images in your mind of like a snake head or energy feeling moving up the spine? Yes, lots of nodding. Yeah. Mm. So guys, you can tap into that like as a morning meditation, right? Clearing the field. As we go on this journey, there's more layers that come up, right? So use that fire energy to burn through it and to observe it, to feel it and heal it and allowing that energy to come all the way up through our spine so we have more energy for the day. It's a great practice in the morning, just finding a nice playlist setting up the space with the intention to connect to that kundalini fire energy in the root in the root chakra it's often curled up until we acknowledge it and sometimes we feel our body our backs out it's probably the energy trying to push through density right so becoming very aware of that kundalini energy it's it's available to you every moment of every day so tapping into that and allowing it to to work as an ally it's your free healer. <laughs> I was thinking of Cindy too, you know, and I was thinking of that playlist. It's like that playlist's on our uh, YouTube channel and you can just sit there and like we would have listened to that playlist hundreds of times, like mm. so many times over and over and over and over. Mm. And you just never get sick of it. And sometimes <laughs> when you really need it, uh I think there's one in there somewhere called Know You Are Loved. And I remember one day getting up early and going out and do the gardening and I had the Yui Boom playing and Know You Are Loved just hit the right chord that morning and I was walking around the garden in tears, crying my eyes out, pulling out my weeds. Just <laughs> I just needed to ground. And at that time, even though I'd heard it so many times before, it just sort of struck a chord. So, you know, Cindy, filling your mind with the good, the clean, the powerful, the positive can be an extra thing that you can do to support yourself during this time of reprogramming of your brain, right? Like the old pattern, the old the old program was I'm not enough, I need, to, I'm going to get judged, I'm going to get whatever, whatever, these different feelings and things coming up. You took the antidepressants, it dulls that down, but it's still there. Now you're off them. Let's bring in an aid. Let's bring in something else to give you this reinforcement consciously and at a subliminal level of know you are loved. I release control, right? Opening yourself up to all those beautiful frequencies. And I really hope uh, you're feeling strong and better really soon. Uh, yeah, the, the lyrics are perfect. Spot on. <laughs> Listen, I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. Right, right, what I needed. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, some of our favourites. Roxy, Roxy will scratch yeah. playlist now while mm. I uh, ask Sean his uh, question. Hi, Sean. How you doing, brother? Hey, guys. Good, good. Uh, happy to hear you're still in California. Californians. 
Yes, oh, yeah. down visiting my daughter today at uh, Manhattan Beach Pier. Um, oh, nice. So getting close really? to your area. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I wanted to. I wanted to share. I'm in Long Beach. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to share with the group this because it was epic. Um, I don't know how many of everyone knows like Jason Shurka and Unified and the Energy Enhancement Centers, and they have these like Energy Enhanced Medallion crystals you can wear. I don't know who is or isn't, but I have a few of them. And Jason was on a live yesterday with with the founder and creator of these, and they were saying some people use them behind their eye masks when they meditate. Right. So I did that for the first time during this meditation just now, and it was epic. It was like images came through, not images, memories came through clear like I could see them. And that's not, I don't even dream with images and I don't do a lot of image stuff in my head, but I was going through memories, but I could like see them. Not like fake stuff that, I, not not fake, but I mean, stuff that I went through in life was shown to me during this meditation. Oh. Yeah. And I, I it, that's not happened to before. And I think that's a lot to do with, I put one of these under my mask today. Mm. So... If you guys are having a hard time visualizing, maybe get some of these medallions. Yeah. yeah and I think, you know, perfect storm as well. You know, it just, it intercepted you with being able to be in this space and using your. I have been, I have been using a new uh, mantra. I think thanks to you guys, I think I said, I've been using it or somebody I've been saying, I wrote it down somewhere. Uh, I'm safe to receive my gifts is one I think I heard you say, and I think maybe I heard someone else say it, but I actually wrote it down. And so maybe that could be it too, a combination of this and yeah, extra reinforcement, you know, like your mind wants to get in the way. It's like, no, it's this that I did in my head. I put it under here and that's why, but like, maybe you're right. It's just kind of like everything else. Yeah, Sean, you're the one, you're the actual activator. <laughs> the tools are enhancing it, yes. But don't you give your yeah. away too soon. Don't let my mind like, go let my mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. So I just wanted to share that. Sharing. That's good. Yeah. These things All do right. help us, you know, these these um enhancements, yeah. they do help. And it's good, but it's also good to realize you're powerful and you just you're yeah. just activating them and we and the the modalities are good they're they're helping us like ayahuasca or mushrooms or kundalini activation ceremonies they're all helping to raise the vibration and set up a space for us to heal what about a swim in the sea at california at the moment yeah it's very we cold that there that are far out We're oh yeah oh, it's, very... like an, it's like a massive ice bath <laughs> i was at the beach three days in a row this holiday weekend so. you go in though Oh, yeah, I always go in. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 it's cold. Me and the dog. Me and, well, it's me and the dog. Yeah, the dog. Oh, I try to drag the dog in, and that's kind of, we just throw stuff in and out of the water. So we don't go all the way in all the time, but, mm. you know, mm. cold plunge. Cold plunge. That's what it is. Yeah. Well, guys, look, lovely to all right. with you all. Thank you all for being in in uh, on the call today. And we we hope, we'd love to hear from you too, by the way, if you enjoyed something different like that, having, you know, a spot of meditation and feeling into moving some energy, listening to some carefully chosen words of those songs, etc. because... These are like the things Roxy and I use for ourselves. You know, the, there's often a moment where we'll just disappear away from the kids and, you know, listen to a few songs and just bliss out for a while, get back into a beautiful, you know, frequency of re relaxation and, and, and love and connectedness and go back out there into the crazy world and take it all on again. So <laughs> they're all things that we can you know, share with you. So we'd love to yeah. hear from you guys too, if you drop us a note. You know, if you're looking for some sort of light work to be of service, please be the conduit and send love to the Middle East, to these families that are in the firing line, you know. Yes, they've, you know, they've signed their contracts to be there and that's that's fine, but it also would be beautiful to shower them with columns of light from source to help 
lift the load. It's it's very hard seeing what's going on over there and they're actually boots on the ground. No one should be treated like this. And if we can help in a loving way remotely, I think that's a really nice a gesture to, to come together and do over the next couple of weeks. Um, we certainly have just been thinking of them a lot and sending love and being that conduit. So we can all do that work. Yeah. And many blessings to you all, all the activations. Enjoy your upgrades, activations, and um, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for coming, guys. Love to you all. Bye, guys. Many blessings. Bye. Yeah. Blessings. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you Love so you guys. Much. See you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye.